The carousel, which now graces Riverfront State Park, is uh, has a wonderful story behind it. Right now, as you look at it as a carousel, it'd be very natural to think it had been part of the World Fair, and in some levels it was. It's a loft carousel. He's probably the most famous carousel maker in the world, and it had been in Natatorium Park for a while outside of downtown Spokane, and then when that park shut down, it basically went into a warehouse, all of the wonderful animals, and then there was a question as to what you could do with them. And some very clever thinking went into this, and it was decided that it could not be prepared in time for the fair, nor would there necessarily be the funds to do that. But what they did was they built a German beer garden in a circle, a round building, which uh, made lots and lots of money during the fair. And lo and behold, it was the perfect footprint for the carousel. They planned it that way. So as soon as the fair was over, they basically took up the floor from the beer hall and uh, began putting in the carousel. So the carousel is a part of the World Fair, at least in terms of its legacy. The building you can see and say, okay, that was a German beer pavilion. But what's inside is a wonderful masterstroke of, of uh, building something even greater out of that site.